children, with the youth community, uh, and the Jewish community, what are really the main goals that the foundation has today? Harold's concern, particularly from the American standpoint, is that um, the numbers don't don't uh, aren't, aren't in our favor. Um, in the U.S. in particular, there's a lot of interfaith marriage, and the history is that um, two generations out, many families who are interfaith will not be raising their children as Jews. Um, and so, concern number one for him. Um, concern number two, we, we don't experience what you do here, which I've gotten to see today, which is a really tight-knit community where the, the bulk of your children go to school in Jewish settings. In other parts of the Jewish world, that's not the case. And so um, there's just a lot of assimilation that is taking place, and except for the committed Orthodox community, the more liberal, conservative communities um, are in jeopardy. On Jeopardy. And so there is also less of a connection to Israel. We see in the United States the next generation of American Jews struggle more with the concept it, with Israel. They um, are more critical of Israel and its policies and don't remember the day when the creation of Israel was in Europe. And, um, and so there's a concern as well that unless we share the beauty of Israel with the next generation, they will not feel connected to the country as prior generations can. Thank you. Now, turning to, uh, to